Okay, let's try getting this. Here. I'll leave it to where if I lay the thing down, you'll be able to see it. But put it to where you can see me, and it's not really that much of use. I didn't get me a jar to put my screws in, and now I've dropped one. Down in no telling where. Sometimes they, when I drop them, they go down on. <sighs> You know, they go down there and I don't see them again. Got the ones for the case in my back pocket. I always like to put them in a little... I always save medicine bottles. I think I see it. No, that ain't that. For that purpose. But it could have went... I don't think it went in the trash can. It's always a good idea not to have that there when you're doing stuff like that. But I heard it hit stuff. I don't know if it went all the way down or it stopped on the way or what. Don't see it. <clears throat> Just out of the way. <clears throat> That's not the kind of screw I have a bunch of. That's a little bit different kind of screw. always go further than you think they, they did. I kind of saw it on the way down. It may have landed in the toolbox. Slip it here on the back side of the rack. I can usually, if they're out in the open, I can find them by shining this light on them. It'll reflect. If they're down in there. No, I'm gonna quit looking for it. If it's won't it actually be of any consequence, if uh, it won't matter. If if uh, I'm not gonna put it back together and it's not working, you know. I mean, okay. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to. Uh, Unplug it. I've already done all the probing I could do, and I used the test light and the multimeter and every combination I could see that might I thought might do something to make it jump. Make a jumper. But the back side, okay. Well, you've got all the solder joints on the back side. Man, they look like they could short out. I guess it was held up. But you know, if somebody pushed, was mad at that and pushed really, really hard on that, no, they'd had to have broken the circuit board from the touch. But those solder joints are all, yeah, they didn't, they didn't ever short. You can see that. Okay, there had to be some burnt marks. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, if I knew which one, uh, if are they in line? Oh. They are in line. So, so the green, yellow goes to number two, right there. Oh, no, wait. Oh, that one, that one. One, two, three. Something's not jiving here. Okay, one of those holes on the front, I don't think, goes. Yeah, it does. Okay, so. Trying to look at, the, you can see the traces on the back. I'm trying to figure out what goes to what, if I can tell me what's. The one that's yellow, well, that's the one that didn't show any power. There was The white one's the only one that showed power, and it was 5 volts. Tried connecting it to ground with the test light. That should have made something happen if that was bypassing the switch, but really. Yeah, power is on the, looks like it's on the yellow one, but it's not hot. It is labeled on the front, power, and then I didn't know what was the other pin, you know, to finish the circuit, which I ended up just trying them all to try to jump it. 
Oh, that the way that's drawn across there, maybe it does tell you which one is it. So I think I'll put that one screw I have back in it so that I don't short it. I'm going to try that again because maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I didn't hit that combination. <clears throat> yeah. It's tight enough. I just, it need, I mean, I wouldn't try to operate it without that. <clears throat> I would say that you can't see that. You'd have to desolder that micro switch to, to see if it was burned up or anything. But you should be able to jump it. That's the thing. I didn't try an actual wire. Doesn't do anything. Huh. Yeah, there may be some something in the circuit that's blown out. Guess I could try well, that wouldn't really I know that there's no power to that yellow one. Of course, that may be the one that's going back to the board to tell it to come on, too. It says power, but which way it's, you know, which one is bringing it in and which one is. Let me take it off and look at that back side again. Which one's bringing it in and which one's sending it back? One's going to be coming from the power supply, and the other one's going to be going onto the motherboard to the sensor to tell it to turn on. So, be careful now. I've got it plugged in. Let me unplug it again. Okay. I was almost getting the sense of how to trace it, and then I just couldn't quite get there. Okay, that one there, that one right there, goes to pin 2, which is yellow, okay. And where does this other one go? Power one. And that one right there just goes to that tr tracer on top, okay. I don't think. Well, yeah, there's a there's there's these through holes that are, I believe they're test points. Uh, they're not, but there's one I see now that is under the the uh, micro switch. So yeah, well I can. Well, I tested the wires coming in. I was going to say, well, maybe I could test on the back of here. But, uh, you may need to jump more than one set of connect contacts on this one. I wouldn't know. Can't really tell. Let's see. Yeah, the one, the one that is... It's, there's a line, a white line drawn from one one connector, one uh, pad to the other pad. It says power switch. So that kind of it, at first I didn't catch on to what it's probably saying. Then I realized that's probably telling you those two need to connect for the power to, you know, to make a connect to make it to come on to make the connection. And there's a test spot there on that one which I use, and I <coughs> that's the le the yellow one <coughs> which. <laughs> doesn't show any voltage, <coughs> but it may be the one that's sending it to the motherboard. <coughs> the wire one's coming in with power, so it's coming from the power supply. It has 5 volts, which is what I'd probably figure it was switching on is 5 volts. <coughs> and then it'll send that signal to the sensor uh, to tell it, actually it may go back to the power supply, to tell that sensor to send power to the motherboard. That's probably what it does, yeah. Sensor wouldn't probably be on the motherboard. I think they're in the power supply. <coughs> but anyway, at any rate, 
jumping the white and the yellow don't do it, <coughs> at least not with that test light. Uh, and I don't want to just stick a hard wire on there. Because you can do it with the test light, and if you get a positive and negative, then it just lights up the light. It don't hurt anything. But if you jump, uh, you know, when negative to negative or positive to positive, and it completes the circuit, then it will complete the circuit. It won't light. It, now it don't light up, but it'll complete the circuit. You most of the time, anyway. It does take a certain amount of power. Uh, it's kind of a, almost like a. It's not just your average light bulb in there, uh, you know, car tw twelve five volt, twelve volt light bulb. It's it's got a little resistance in it. It takes it. I don't. I, I'm pretty almost certain I've seen it light up on five uh, five volts or six volts. I don't have anything to? Yes, I do. Okay, I might be able to make sure that it will do that here in a second. I'll, I've got a. Uh, my power, my my power supply amp, what I call it, it's two computer power supplies powering two audio amps. But I also can yank out any of those Molex connectors if I want to run a hard drive uh, adapter or something. Anything. Well, if I just want to run anything of 12 or 5 volts, I don't mess with the other voltages. But uh, yeah, it's just right there. It's already on because I don't want to damage it though. I'm getting messing around with it. Especially my amps, you know. Let's see. My brain, I'm getting tired, I guess. How much time do we have left? Man, we haven't seen any going down on the... My, my backup battery is green and, the, and it's still recording. Okay, so... Uh, <clears throat> I can't even, uh, I flip it one way and I see how it looks like it might go and I can see that I can't tell where they all go and then when I flip it over, I'm terrible at this, um, I, I just get lost. When I was younger I could have, I could have held that in my head very easily and flipped it back and forth and figured out every circuit on it when, as long as you can see the traces. I can see where they're soldered and I can see the traces. The traces that go up to the test lead hole, test holes, they're not for putting more components in. Uh, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six on that side. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's six on that side. So I'm not missing any. One, two, three, four, five. No, there's five on this side. So the one under the, yeah, the one under there. Okay. That one. Oh yeah, number two. And the one under there, that would be the two I would be wanting to try that with. Let's try plugging it in again. Okay, i got to be careful because I've got a big clamp on this side and a pointy deal on that side. That's great, but the big clamp, you know, that's the problem. I, I can't really do that. I can get it there, but they're all so close together, I can't do it. I'll try and test voltages though. What's the multimeter? I don't think I have a something that's pointy. Let's look at my other jumpers. They all got big clip clip leads on them. That one's got a wire in, but it's too big. Those are really too big piece of wire but it's multi-strand the multi-strand is really dangerous to try to do use like that it'll just touch everything you know especially that that one there that piece there i think it you can twist it a hundred times and it'll come untwisted 102 times let's, let's try the voltage meter okay now I may have to put on the, uh, before I put on that headset thing, there we go, I can see that, now it's the second one, no, I can't see, I didn't get it in between them and touch them both, 
Where's my headset thing? My jeweler's thing. <clears throat> that was a while ago I was able to do that with this. <sighs> Don't work this time. I think maybe it will. Okay, so the one... I can tell which one is the one that I can't get to from the top because it is really short and it's, it's under the switch on the top. And then number two is the yellow one. That's the one that's part of the power circuit. And I think that's the other side. Of the, no, it might be the other side of the power circuit. I really don't know. Anyway, I'm going to do a voltage meter, so even if I'm wrong, it won't short out and break anything. Just hunting. 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 Yeah, there's no. Okay, so there's no power on that. The one that I believe there's five volts on is that one. No one's quit hunting and said negative point one millivolts. I think it's just yeah, it's not doing anything. So the one that had yeah, I guess I had to touch it to ground. So the second one that's not going there. Hmm. Even if I touch it to these ground pads on the ends, well, they're not grounded when I have it loose, so, yeah. Okay, so... Okay, I'm going to put it on beep and see if the ones that I think should be making a circuit do any beeping or anything from this side. Oh, there it went. Yeah. It's plugged in too, and it didn't try to come on like I was thinking it might do. It didn't beep again. It doesn't always beep. Oh, it's that one. Okay. So that one makes a circuit. That's the third one, which is the oh, the third one is the white one. Yeah, makes a circuit to that. Uh, well, there's continuity between those two, between the white one, one, two, three. And the fourth one. Oh, the black. The black is ground. Okay. So, yeah, that's my ground. That's what that is. So. Didn't do it that time. I'm not, I was got to thinking, am I been mashing that switch and not realizing it? And that was showing that the switch was good. That's what, if I could figure out which one's to test, I could tell if the switch was good. I'd really rather do that. I have power on now, but I might have been mashing this switch down where I had it sitting. Well, that one makes continuity on itself. That's the ground. I don't think I was mashing the switch. 
<clears throat> okay, so now that I know what it is, I can screw it back down and test it from the top. Okay. I'm really aggravated that I dropped that screw. Oh, well, maybe, I, no, they have a shoulder on them and they're flatheads. If I have one, I'll be pretty lucky that I have one. They're special. If I did get it to work, I definitely wouldn't try to use it with one screw in it. That, that thing can, sh if it moved, it would short out those pins and burn things up for sure. Let's see. Okay, now. Okay, I can see the colors of the wires. So yeah, the ground is the only one that's not... Uh, you don't have a test spot on top. So I can just go to one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. And there we go. That's continuity. Okay, and that's a part of the power switch. Okay. That lead goes plumb through. Hmm. What I'm wondering is, can I do that? It's a, it's close the switch. Okay, so... I found two others that have continuity. Trying to match the switch and with the so that you know when if I find the ones that when I push the switch down it activates. I should do it with it unplugged. Really, oh, it is unplugged. That's probably why I'm not having any trouble. I got thinking, you know, you shouldn't be able to do this without causing trouble. 